Hi everyone, we're back and we are going to uh, go to problem number two. So normal distribution, confidence interval. Um, so I'm working with vanadium grain sizes with the po uh, population mean. So my mu is equal to 45 nanometers. My standard deviation is equal to one nanometer. What is the probability of measuring grain size of less than 46.3 newtons? So I'm gonna pull up my handy friend Mathematica. And hopefully you already have this basically set up in a notebook already. But we're going to do it from scratch ourselves just so that we're comfortable. Let's wait for Mathematica to open up. I shouldn't be cracking my fingers, but I am. But it's okay. So waiting, 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 waiting. Here we go. All right. So let's go ahead. We can go ahead and define my z function is going to be equal to x um, mu sig set it equal to um, x minus mu divided by sig and then my z um, pdf is equal to actually one divided by square root of two times pi times exponential of minus x minus mu divided by actually, squared uh, actually x actually minus z squared divided by uh, 2 we'll double check that integrate pdf from z from minus infinity to infinity should give us one just to make sure that we have that normalized good all right so we are asked the probability less than 46.3 so I'm going to do my z function of 46.3. My mean is 45 and deviation of 1. So I want to integrate my PDF from less than this. So from minus, from a z value of minus infinity to this. Doop, doop. Excuse me. So about 90%. Calculate an interval which contains 76% of the data. So I want to integrate. Integrate PDF from z from minus x to x. And then I want to solve for when does this value equal equals 0.76. And that would be my z value. And then the interval, so that would be the z, but now I can solve. So this equals z function of x 45, 1. Solve. So this would be the integral. Again, when I'm saying an interval, I'm looking at measure and values and then minus. So there we go. What is the probability of measuring a value between 42 and there? All right, well, we can go ahead. No, don't. Get out of here. No, don't take me. I don't like that Mathematica is doing that recently. Or maybe it's on just on this computer. So from, we want to go from 42, I see there. 42 to what, 47? 47, all right. There we go. Let's look at this numerically. Good. And grain size greater than 43.6. So 43.6 to infinity and beyond. 92% basically. There you go. This one again is, is it's one that's not hopefully too abhorrent to you all um, but again we just have to make sure that we either solving with tables or solving it on Mathematica that we're we're comfortable with those problems and we'll see you all for next one on problem three so see you then thanks